what's up guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to the bright hicks experience i'm your girl let's get it in today right let's get it in so today's video is going to be about these people that have crossed you they have lost access to you and they really going wow like they really going crazy right now because they really regret what they did and they really feeling bad but at the same time it's something in the inside of them that's like not letting them be soft to you it's like not letting them tell you that they sorry because the ego inside of them the demons that took over and the people they don't really like they don't know how to control those guys they don't know how to control them so they basically get in like puppeted by the evil spirits right so these people are being used in order to bother you like they're being used to your demise and it's pretty sad because you were so close with these people before but they're like so ashamed that they crossed you that they really like try to make it seem like it was your fault they really been playing victim to answer their own messed up questions in their head and they really don't even know how to get back on good terms with you because they didn't cross you so bad and they just feel so bad about it but it's a part of them that at the time they felt good they felt good at the time when they was crossing you and they really enjoyed whatever they did they enjoyed it but it's like now since they still have to face you like they just really don't know how they don't know what to say so they tend to like try to stay away because they're really ashamed and they've lost access to you they don't really have you like how they once did and they don't know how to get you back like how they had you before so they really just really lost out because you was the best thing that ever happened to them you were so real to them all the time like you've never wronged them you've never done nothing to hurt them ever you love them right if I'm speaking to you right now and you feel it, go ahead and drop some comments down below and let me know what's going on in your life right now because I really feel like, I really felt compelled to make this video right now and I'm really speaking to somebody who's hurting right now. Like if you hurting right now and you really, you know, miss somebody that's done you wrong just think of like think of the pros and cons and then also think of this person as just being a puppet for a moment think of this person as being somebody who's imperfect think of this person as not intentionally you know wholeheartedly doing this with the good side of their heart but think about them doing this like they were like possessed at the time they were possessed by demons to get to you think of this person as being innocent in a sense like think of their innocence in whatever they did right sometime like when we really look at people everybody's laced with good and bad everybody carries good and bad around with them all day every day so anybody can do something to hurt your feelings make you cry anybody can get on negative terms with you anybody can mama sister brother daddy uncle anyone so it's like when when you really let people close to you you really have to be careful because 
when you let somebody in on a good note, like if you on the up and up with somebody and if you got somebody on your good side and y'all exchanging angels with each other, that's what I call being nice. Y'all exchanging angels, right? You you guys can always get to the other side and get the exchanging devils with each other. And that's fighting. That's cussing each other out. That's that's like trying to see whose demons is bigger than the other one. That's like what a fight is. Like if you really think about it, that, that's like two demons trying to figure out who's bigger. That's a fight. So really like think of like stuff so so deep like this is the deepest of the deepest to where you really think of us as just being pawns we really are so the people that you truly connect with hold them close but also hold them accountable for their actions but also realize that these people they don't really know what they're doing at times they may just be getting used by higher powers and then also everything happens for a reason so we have to be mindful and be careful not to put ourselves into karmic circles. Right? Like, nobody wants to be living in karma. So do your best to always do the right thing. Try to do the right thing all the time. Understand that everybody deserves a second chance. Okay, understand that everybody does deserve a second chance, but three, four, and five, I don't know about that. That's a little too much. And you really have to look deep through the lines and really get to people's true intentions. Like if you've been trying with somebody and you've really been trying with them and they've been giving you a hard time, but you see that they really want to try. Like, you know, they their their intentions really seem to be pure you'll be able to tell by what they say, what they do. You can see it. And you could also see when somebody's being fake, they're being negative. They really don't want to... Some people really like to have problems. Like, they just really love problems. they just addicted to drama. Some people are. And if you see that, you got to keep your distance because it'll always be something. Even after you try to make amends with this person, it'll it'll be something else. Just random, random stuff. Right? And that's when you have to protect yourself, protect your energy, and move away. Move away. Don't don't continue to allow yourself. Don't continue this person to be able to have your presence. Right? Like treat yourself special enough to know when it's time for people not to be able to be able to have access to you no more right your life is very important because it's a story your life is a story so really treat it as such really treat yourself like you don't necessarily have to always do the same thing do different stuff try different stuff see what you like you got to try because if you don't try you'll never know try different kind of friends and just always know that you can choose your friends you can choose certain people don't really know so much but understand that like certain people they may not just be the smartest you know like people like if you want somebody to be your friend just start talking to them They'll have to talk back. <laughs> They'll have to talk back. I promise you, like, they're not just going to leave themselves talking to, to nothing. Especially, like, if you in person. But online, people do it all the time. Because, like, they think that it's cool. Like, that's that. People wanting to be wanted type of thing that's, that's, like, very popular right now. People love to be wanted or seem like they're wanted so bad. Like, it really makes them happy. So be mindful of that as well, right? But definitely, the people that have lost access to you, they feel it. 
they feel it in their soul and they really miss you but at the same time it's up to you this is your decision this is your life that you need to write the story to right so it's up to you to see who deserves to be around you if you want to give somebody a second chance go ahead go ahead don't feel bad for it because sometimes people don't always know what they're doing some people doing stuff they don't even know it's hard like things are hard sometimes it could be hard to just control yourself like i'm saying like sometimes you may feel like a possession coming over you sometimes people have other people may have stronger energy you know like some people may be able to come around and take over other people's energy some people may be able to come around and get to telling somebody else what to do right and some people don't don't know how to deal with that some people aren't, aren't even smart enough and conscious enough to be aware to know that that's what's going on right so i hope i said something today that really stuck with you i really hope that you really continue to thrive I really hope that you continue into this new year and find something worth smiling about. I hope that you find something to be happy about. And take care of yourself. Have a good day. It's your girl, Bright Hicks. And as always, it's all love. Love you guys.